our special series, War of the Cities. As we know, 85 out of 98 cities have submitted their proposals to the centre in the race up to the top 20. Who will be in and who will be out? As we wait for the top 20 list to be released, we at Magic Bricks now look at each of the cities who have submitted their proposals. Today, we take a look at Raipur in Chhattisgarh. My colleague Suresha Savant has his report on what Raipur is doing to get that coveted smart tag. In the war of smart cities, Raipur has gone full throttle to fight and make it to the list of the top 20 cities. Now, the population of the city is nearly 10 and a half lakhs. Uh, several suggestions had been poured in by the citizens for the smart city proposal, which included broader roads, better parking facilities, increased water supply, better waste management, uh, having uh, more public toilets, installing solar plants, and going digital for a lot of local issues that happen in the city. When I spoke with the authorities, they said that they try to incorporate most of these suggestions and the budget for this will be nearly 2400 crores. And to give us more perspective on that, I have on the phone line with me Saranj Mittar, the Municipal Commissioner of uh, Raipur. Saranj, thank you so much uh, for joining us here on Magic Bricks. Now, uh, tell us, uh, what are your plans for making Raipur a smart city? What are some of the key focus areas? Well, thank you for my, uh, having me on the show, uh, Krishna. Uh, Raipur, being the largest urban agglomeration in the state of Chhattisgarh, uh, has a great potential for being transferred, uh, transformed into a smart city. Uh, it will have a direct impact on about 1.5 million people here. And our key focus areas in our smart city plan have been, uh, uh, the priority has been reducing the vehicular congestion on the roads mm. by having smart traffic solutions and parking. Uh, we are focusing on reducing carbon print of the city by transferring all the streetlight fixtures into LEDs. Uh, we focus on increased walkability in the city by having pedestrian-friendly pathways, then creating recreational hubs, activity centers at various lakes in the city. And we'll also focus on delivering basic services like property tax payments, birth, death certificates, med certificates through e solutions. All right, area-based development and pan-city proposals are the key criterions for this round of uh, smart cities. Tell us, what are you doing on that front? Uh, we are done with the uh, these area-based uh, development proposals, uh, selection and plan city proposals. And uh, ABD is basically a city within a city, a model which can be replicated as a model uh, for rest of the city. So we have selected about 750 acres of Raipur, which is the central part of the city. And the key focus area, which I have told, which I have told you earlier, will be the primary areas which we will be working in the area-based development also. And in Pan City proposals, uh, that is the thing which will have an impact on whole of the city. So we are focusing on traffic management, smart traffic solution, parkings. Uh, so it will have a direct impact on uh, the whole population of the Raipur. Uh, also tell us, what kind of investment uh, uh, is uh, Raipur putting into this as a whole? Um, though a lot of work is going on, but in our smart city plan, uh, the approximate budget is around 2,400 2, crores. So we are harnessing the modalities such as public-private partnership and convergence with other government of India, government of state uh, schemes also, so, so that the resources can be effectively utilized. So some commercial projects, including uh, some old markets, they can be transformed and the new spaces which will be created can be monetized. All right, and uh, what are the plans when it comes to housing? Uh, uh, real estate, of course, is pivotal for these uh, cities' development, isn't it? Yes, yes. And uh, uh, real estate uh, is always important in the city, uh, especially nowadays with a uh, lot of migration that is happening. So under smart city, uh, it's basically an umbrella under which various component schemes of government, like housing for all, will be converged. So it will aim at providing affordable housing to the economically weaker and moderate sections of the society. Areas have been identified which will be transformed. Land will be better utilized. Private partners will also be harnessed in and the excess land can be monetized depending upon the locations of the projects and the projects uh, will, be, will be made viable. All right, Saransh, before I let you go, you have submitted your proposal uh, to the centre. How hopeful are you of uh, winning the race? Yes, yes, we have submitted our smart city proposal and we are very optimistic about its selection and we are very hopeful. Saransh, the Municipal Commissioner of uh, Raipur and Chhattisgarh, thank you so much for being with us here on the news on Magic Breaks Now. <laughs>